things that leads to disenfranchisement is corruption. What a surprise. And a system that doesn't seem to work because it's overwhelmed. Listen to this story and tell me if it sounds a little off. 341 pages of amendments unveiled 3 a.m. just before the cap and trade bill was de debated on the House floor. 3 a.m. in the morning, 341 pages go in, hmm, almost overwhelming the system, making it so it doesn't work right. Well, stuffed inside that bill was an amendment making $3.5 billion in your money available for lending for renewable energy in Ohio and some other Midwestern states. You can thank Democratic Representative Marcy Kaptur of Ohio. She's a member of the powerful House Appropriations Committee and the House Budget Committee. Originally, she was undecided, but after her amendment snuck in, she joined a minority of Midwestern and Southern Democrats to vote for the bill. She's obviously proud of it. In her congressional website, it says, quote, the Great Lakes states would benefit from the creation of new regional power marketing authority thanks to the key amendment that Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur succeeded in placing in the climate change legislation that the House of Representatives passed on Friday, blotty, blotty, blotty. The Kaptur amendment included in the manager's amendment of H.R. 2484 authorizes the Secretary of Energy to to authorize a power marketing authority with $3.26 billion in, addition, uh, in additional lending authority. I'm pretty sure that's the definition of tit for tat, but I'm not sure. Tom Borelli is here. He's a senior fellow for the National Center for Public and Policy Research. And David Kreutzer, he is senior policy analyst for the Heritage Foundation are here. Let me, um, um, Tom, let me, um, or David, actually, let me, let me, let me start with you. Okay. Um, this this deal, I mean, she is proud that she brought home the bacon. How much bacon is in this thing? This is, this is amazing. It's all bacon. It, it, it's mostly, I mean, they, they've given away most of the tax revenue. I, I tell you, the, the, the bill, uh, the provisions, the economics were fundamentally rotten, and this is just putting hot sauce on it. They're hoping they're going to distract you from the lost jobs. And so they're giving stuff to some of these representatives so they can point and say, look, I have this lending authority that's creating a windmill factory or whatever, but they're ignoring twice as many jobs that are being lost elsewhere. Tom, so that, that's all we have. We're giving cover for people. They, it's hard to go back and say, hey, look, I voted for a bill that's going to cost uh, millions of jobs in the American economy, that's going to reduce income, that's going to raise energy prices 50 to 90 percent. So instead, you get something to distract them. You say, look, I have this bill that's going to lend some money. It's going to create the hurricane center or whatever. So um, th that's all it is. It's, it's okay. window dressing to distract us from the fundamentals. This is, um, can, can I tell you something? I, I, I think this is money laundering. It's money laundering. <laughs> They're basically auch auctioning off the United States, our budget. It start, remember, Obama wanted $600 billion of revenue from this. That was the starting point. He's given 85% of that away to get passed. And these earmarks are very small part. The big, the big enchilada, all a lot of the money is going to the corporations through the carbon credits. That's how they're able to buy votes. So, so they're buying votes through members. They're buying votes through corporations. Uh, somebody help me out here. David, help me out. Um, yeah. USCAP, uh, is it USCAP? Is that what it was? United it? States Climate USCAP. Action Partnership. It's a partnership of right. radical environmental groups and big corporations, okay. they're married together. Look at the, down at the bottom of the screen, you can see all of the, it's Chrysler, it's John Deere, it's Caterpillar. Chrysler with our money. Yeah, with our money. General Motors. Tesla, with our money. They're, all, right. they're all in here. This, this, is, this is amazing. And what is happening here, and, and David, I'd love to hear your thoughts, is the yeah, American they, they, people companies. are, the, the American people are supporting the poorest of the poor and the richest of the richest, and we're getting hammered in between. The, the get, middle class means hard. nothing to this government. We're getting hammered hard, which was really, it's almost funny. These companies, when the original bill came out, it had a 100% auction of the allowances, and what that meant was they weren't going to get any of the gravy. All of a sudden, they weren't interested in supposedly saving the environment. It was only after they hammered and hammered and hammered in backroom deals and so on that they were able to get their share of this 85 percent that's being given away that all of a sudden now they're environmentalists again. See, this so th is, not, this is a big this is, giveaway. This is because this is, we have a piece later on, um, on ACORN and SCIU, which uh, are the... Mm. Um, and you wouldn't believe how much money... I mean, they had 
they had volunteers like crazy going out and campaigning. This is later campaign cash, isn't it? Yes. This is taking my tax dollars yes. and funding their campaigns. Right, right. And this is the tip of the yeah, iceberg. You're, you're, you have the, you have this, the coordination of the activist groups and the corporations. They own the infrastructure of the left. They own the media. They own the nonprofit foundations, the, the, uh, the Fords, the uh, Pew Foundation, all that money. And now they're after corporations. Corporations are the last link in the chain. This is the battle of our lifetime. If we, it's time yeah, for the people they're, they're, to go after. They're, they're turning the corporations into dependents as well as the people oh, on welfare. Yeah, well, they're, they're afraid. A lot of them are afraid. Tell me what, what is it, Sarah's.org? Series. Series, what is this? C-E-R-E-S dot org. What is that? It's a nonprofit group, and what it's made of union uh, pension funds, uh, environmental activist groups, and they go in and they lobby the corporations. Basically, they lobby with the stick. You can join our agenda, and we won't go to your shareholder meetings and give you heartache. <laughs> or we can, you can join with us. We'll give you a way to make money and be loved by everybody. And so they're being hijacked. And, and David, help me out on this. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I talked about, uh, what is it, location-efficient loans. Isn't I've never even one? heard of location-efficient. What is that? Hey, well, here's even better. Who's administering it? Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the same people that led us to the housing bubble and collapse. They're going to be given more authority. Uh, somebody doesn't like where you're going to choose to live, so you only get the mortgage if you live where they want you to live. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait I, I guess. Wait, wait, I'm trying to understand what this means. What does that mean exactly? I, that if, I, if, I'm, if I'm living in an inner city, then I get the loan. If I want to live out in the suburbs, I don't? I don't know. Maybe if you live near the highway interchange, you get it, or you don't. If you live near a metro stop, I don't. I don't know this what energy efficient society, uh, location it's would be. It's all the plant society, but the key was capturing the corporation. Once you get that money, power, and influence, it's game over public policy-wise. That's why it's Independence Week, Fourth of July. It's time for Americans to recognize and stand up. We don't have necessarily the the money that they have and the influence, the special interests, but it's time for people to wake up, pressure those corporations. What are they going to? You know, I ask this of everybody. I. I, I I have to tell you, this is what I'm going to spend my vacation on. I'm going to be thinking, what is it that people do? They, they are connecting with each other. They are standing up. They're making phone calls. What is it they're supposed to do, Tom? Well, we've got to go to their congressional offices. We cannot allow this cap-and-trade bill to pass. End of story. Okay. This is the battle of our lifetime, 4th of July. This is our revolution, a peaceful one. Let's go to their offices. Okay. We can't allow them to win. All right. Tom, Dave, thank you Thanks. very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for having me. Uh, Just